Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing whether quote unquote bureaucratic comfort, if you will, should impact Thailand reopening. There's been a lot of talk here recently in recent days about Thailand reopening October 1st, specifically Bangkok. And if I kind of use those words interchangeably, Bangkok and Thailand, I really shouldn't. They're, you know, the country, greater Thailand, is not Bangkok. But Bangkok, in a way, very much for international tourism to some extent, to a large extent, I should say, it, Bangkok is kind of the window to Thailand. So Bangkok being open has, in my opinion, a tremendous impact on tourism and the tourism economy here in Thailand as a whole. A recent article from the Thai Inquirer, that's thaiinquirer.com, article is titled, Ministry of Tourism Pushing for October Reopening, but Some Officials Apprehensive. Uh, quoting directly, Peapot, and that's Peapot Rachakiprakan, that's the head of the uh, Tourism Authority of Thailand, quoting directly, Peapot told reporters on Tuesday that the country was still on course to open up Bangkok to foreign tourists via the sandbox model by October 1. Under the plan, Bangkok and surrounding provinces will be open to vaccinated tourists who can travel freely between Bangkok and other sandboxed, sandboxed provinces, including Phuket and Samui. Peapot, Peapot said it was imperative that the country opens up to save the economy, and he said he has the blessing of Health Minister Anutin Charwirakun. However, senior health officials within the Ministry of Public Health, and they don't quote these people's names, this appears to be somewhat anonymous, told Thai Inquirer, Inquirer that there has been pushback against the October 1 date. Quoting further, according to the source, the advisors and doctors inside the ministry are asking Peapot and the cabinet to postpone the reopening and consider a November 1 date instead. Quoting directly from this anonymous source, we would be a lot more comfortable pushing the date by just one month to November 1. Like I said, that was from the anonymous source. Again, I urge those who are watching this, go check out the Thai Inquirer, thaiinquirer.com. Article is titled, Ministry of Tourism Pushing for October Reopening, but Some Officials Apprehensive. So going back, we would be a lot more comfortable. Well, happy day. You know, I certainly really hope that folks in the bureaucracy are operating under the most optimal levels of comfort that they can. But the fact is, the economy is moribund. People are out of work. You talk about discomfort, people are completely displaced from their jobs, the economy is in a really precarious position, and quite frankly, where is the exigent need for this? Where's the emergency? We've been dealing with this now since March of 2020. It is September 2021. Bangkok, the red zones, whatever you want to call it, have been under effective full lockdown since April of 2021. There has been virtually no SME business activity, especially in the retail sector. There's been virtually no SME business activity in the food and beverage sector. Restaurants are basically on the knife edge with respect to whether or not they're going to exist in a few months. And we have to worry about the comfort, how, how comfortable people feel, and people feel. And let me be clear, if there was some expert out there with hard data that said we should not do this based on the following data, well, that would be a different thing. But this whole touchy-feely, squishy notion of I don't feel comfortable, but, uh, but providing no backup, not citing citing no foundation based on any data-driven analysis as to why this is a bad idea. I'm sorry, I, that to me is not good policy thinking, nor is it good policy making. Myself, I agree with Kun Peapot. I hope that we get reopened by October 1. The sooner we reopen, the better, if I'm not making myself emphatically clear enough. We need to get our economy back. Look, at the end of the day, and I'm not gonna get into a bunch of statistics because we've done it already on this channel, you know, I cited them within a week of this video. You know, the death rate is 1% of 1.8%. So 1.8% of folks here in Thailand have contracted COVID. 
of those people, 1% died of it. You know, and those, it's sad. It's terrible. I don't disagree with that. I, I don't want any people to die. That's not the point. But more people are going to have tremendous problems in their life, including death, from an economic fallout, the likes of which I don't know that I've ever even heard of. Because quite frankly, these total lockdown measures are completely historically unprecedented. So, you know, just to kind of wind myself back in here, you know, the notion that we should be worried about, you know, what's comfortable, we feel, com feel comfortable, not we think based on the data that this would be the correct way to proceed. No, we just feel more comfortable. You know, I, that... That has driven, I think, too much of the policy thinking to this point, and we are now in a very bad position, and we need to get our economy back on its feet and get moving on.